This day has finally come. I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. And it's easier than you think. Okay, I must admit that when I started the channel back in 2010, my methods to produce a video needed a lot of work. From bad video quality to tedious frame-by-frame -frame editing, I have pretty much been through it all. But I have learned a lot over the last decade. So naturally, my editing workflow has also evolved. I kept experimenting with new techniques and continued expanding the overall vision of what an Atlas video could show. And the response has been humbling. These videos seem to really resonate with people around the world. So for that, thank you. Okay, let's get to it. Here are the three basic steps for creating an Atlas video with After Effects. For this demonstration, we will be showcasing the first level of the classic Nintendo game, Super Mario Bros. 3. Its graphical simplicity and large maps lends well to the Atlas video's format. And where can we find some maps of our favorite games? Of course, it would have to be VGMaps.com. Simply choose your console, browse to the right game, and grab any maps that you need. Just be sure to give the map makers credit where it's due. Now, we will likely need to do a bit of light image editing, such as cropping in the map and removing any details that we don't necessarily want to show, like these item box contents. This next part is optional, but also consider extending the height of the map to at least 540 pixels, which would allow us to completely fill a 16 by 9 aspect ratio video. And I use GIMP to do all of that, but feel free to use whatever software that you feel most comfortable with. Alright, so this next step is actually a two-parter, but thankfully we can accomplish both at the same time. By using BizHawk, which is an excellent emulator being maintained by the TAS Videos community, we can get not only pixel-perfect footage to overlay onto our map, but also a data dump of the camera's relative position. We start by loading up the ROM and entering the first level. Before the level loads, we will pause the emulator, tell BizHawk to export a video, and bring up the Lua console. I have prepared ahead of time this Lua script that we will simply drag and drop in. The function of the script is to extract live data from specific RAM addresses, transform that data with some logic so that it is in a usable format, and continuously write it out to an external text file as the game progresses. If you're wondering what kind of wizardry went into developing that code, don't, because that's it. Now here's the fun part. Unpause the emulator and prepare to show off those gaming skills. Once you are happy with your stellar gameplay and have completed the level, pause the emulator again and the Lua script and stop the video export. Okay, we now have everything necessary to create an Atlas video. So, let's put it all together. Start by creating a new project in After Effects and dropping in the map, gameplay, and camera data. Drag the gameplay into a new composition, bring up the comp settings, and update the resolution to 960 by 540. Next, drop in the map below the gameplay and modify both layers to have their anchor points set to 0, 0. Now it's time to implement that crucial camera data. And if you're wondering what's in that file, well, it's just X and Y coordinates. We can link this data to each layer's position property by utilizing what After Effects calls expressions, which is just a fancy way of saying JavaScript. Again, this is just a few lines of simple code, where most of the logic is just differentiating when to move one layer versus the other, or both at the same time. Now that the camera data has been linked, let's scrub through the timeline to see how it looks. Okay, this is looking great, but let's also quickly add a mask to clean up our gameplay footage, and we're done. Add your comp to the render queue and hit that render button. Now this was a pretty basic example, but I'm sure you have a few questions. Like what is the best way to scale up our video to 4K? Or what if you just want to try a different game? Honestly, there's a lot more that we can go over. I'd love to show you things like how to handle the HUD, how to implement parallax scrolling, or even how to show off some cool full screen effects. So please, let me know if you found this helpful and if you want to learn more. Simply put, your encouragement will help determine if I keep this tutorial series going. And for those inspired enough to make an Atlas video of your own, 
I will gladly add it to the dedicated World Atlas playlist for all to see. Check it out, because there's already a ton of great content there. Okay, I will be placing the Lua script and the After Effects expressions in our Discord server. If you'd like to join, there's a link below. Thank you for your support, and hopefully we'll be back at it again soon.